So guys, this is Kylo in his studio apartment. And I wanted to show you guys a few things before we start the makeover. I was able to find more of these little um, appliances. Now we're going to keep the ones that make sense. This is a coffee maker. I really like this one. This is from Cooking With Kids brand. And I think these three came in a pack that were sold at the big box stores and they're called um, Playgo. I'm using a light because it's a little dark under here. We're under uh, one of the doll houses and this is where we made a, a little studio apartment for Kylo. He is my 36 inch by 90 centimeter BJD and he is very heavy, made of heavy resin and he is very thin. Now, because I was going to be working on his studio apartment, I got the new kitchen cupboard from my last thrift shopping video and I'm going to put it probably against the wall that he's standing because I want to really redo this whole area. And another reason why I'm going to be changing out his kitchen is because even though I like this little stove, the scale is just a little small for him. I want it to be the right scale like I'm working on a doll room. And this, I think, is more for an 18-inch doll or even a Corita kid that's like 20 inches. So it might be just a little too small for him. So what we're going to do now is take everything out of this room and we're going to set up his new studio apartment. Before we bring in the kitchen, uh, while I was at the thrift store, I also picked up two articles of clothing for him. These are polka dotted pants that I paid $1.99 for. And this is a Disney t-shirt. This is also $1.99 because I'm decorating his room with Disney and anime and things like that. So I'm going to take everything out of this room and we'll start from scratch. So this is the empty room. Now let me show you guys what I have here. This is a headboard to a single bed. And this is another headboard. These were vintage headboards that went to a bedroom set that I bought. It looks like a little dollhouse and we're using it in my shop. But the two headboards I put on opposite ends and we have the dollhouses on top of it. See, that's the dollhouses up there. See, and I showed you guys the dollhouses in our uh, doll room update video. Now what I did, the first thing I did was lay a piece of vinyl. This is a white piece of vinyl that I have left over from our tabletop and then this is the Tsum Tsum that we just got at the thrift store and just a few funky things the stickers on the back were from the previous owner we bought this um, headboard and the whole bedroom set of course used because there is a vintage piece so now I'm going to be bringing in the other pieces to Kylo's studio so guys I put the kitchen in and I put his bed back so those two pieces there's not a lot to do to it. And I also took the feet off the kitchen. I just unscrewed it so it could be closer to the ground. And I might put wallpaper behind here at some point, but not right now. I'm gonna bring Kylo in so we can see the scale of this kitchen to his body to see if it works. So guys, here Kylo is in his new kitchen. Before I start putting all the pieces together, I just wanted to show you his outfit. He is wearing the this is an 18 to 24 month old gap kids t-shirt with mickey mouse in the front and the pants are size uh, 5t for 110 centimeter kids this is zara kids look at how it fits him look at the scale of this to his body i think this works out great now the stove knobs are at his waist where they should be and this is the perfect scale for him so now this is starting to come together like a studio apartment his bed is over here and i'm going to just start filling this kitchen with stuff for his apartment so before i started putting the things away i removed all the books from that shelf and i put them near his bed so now i'm going to fill the kitchen So I found these coasters 
and I think I'm just going to use these coasters as a backsplash behind the stove. And I'm going to move this piece and put it here. That looks better. And just stack the pots and pans on top of each other. So the kitchen is pretty much set up. And because this is a studio apartment, this is his refrigerator. That's what we're gonna call it, the refrigerator, and that's the stove. And over here, I've put a cup and saucer for some tea. And I'm looking for a lamp. So we do have some things to do here. I'm looking for a lamp for this little side table here, which it will be his nightstand, and maybe some pictures behind the wall there. And also, I'm still deciding, I'm not sure which of these coffee makers to keep and which to use elsewhere. But for now, this is what we have. I think I'm going to use put this little piece above here, just for now. So this is his kitchen, and I'm going to bring him in to see what the scale looks like again. So guys, there goes Kylo in his new kitchen. And I forgot to mention that I used the window pane over here because this was a twin size headboard. This was a twin size headboard that we're using in this studio apartment. So I put a window pane there so it could look like it. windows looking out from a basement apartment. So guys, I just finished setting this up and I took a look at this and I still wasn't satisfied. Basically, I really want this to be more decorative than utilitarian. Right now, it looks like all just cooking cooking stuff and mixing and it, you know, a lot of uh, metal. And I'm going to bring in some porcelain. I'm going to use the rest of this shelf to display the cooking pieces. So this shelf could be like his pantry where he stores his mixers, his blenders, pots and pans. And then I'm going to use this open cupboard area to display china, porcelain, and things like that to make it look more homey. So guys, this is more like it. I've used this shelf to store all his appliances, decorative china and porcelain around the cupboards above the stove, and there's glassware on this side, plus enamel, children's cups and saucers. I've collected these for several years, and above, like most homes, are platters that they don't use very often. I think I'm satisfied with this kitchen setup for now. I might put some wallpaper as a backsplash instead, but for now, we're going to call this done. And I think they look great here. I love the way this turned out. Kylo is hanging out in his room, reading a book. So this is it for now. We've set up Kylo's kitchen. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.